everyone. So, a bit of a frustrating morning really because I had a meeting which I was late for um, this morning which I've just come back from. And when I came up the stairs to get into the Twizy which I was going to go take to my meeting, I got welcomed by this. Mr. Paul Wallace, accompanied by Dimmy, who's also staying here, decided to wrap my car. So for some reason he thought he was Yanomized today. Um, and yes, so this has happened. This is him repaying me for my hair dye prank, which you guys maybe haven't seen, uh, where I dyed his hair while he was sleeping. It's not ideal. Uh, I have to admit, it is kind of funny. I did take it down into town like this for my meeting because I was so late I didn't have time to take everything off. And then I just came back from my meeting and I thought I'd show you before I take everything off. But uh, yeah, why don't I put a couple clips from Paul's video, which you guys should go see. His, you know, the link to his channel will be in the description below. If you're not already subscribed to him, go subscribe to that. But here are a few clips of how they pulled this off. Action. <laughs> Okay. Please? Yeah, I'm just gonna come. I'm gonna come as well because I need to grab something out of my car. Okay, I'm gonna take my keys and uh, I'll be back in like two hours or so. Yeah? Fine by me. It's such a nice day today. Yeah, it is the best. The best day. Just gonna grab. Oh. What the hell? Paul. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Paul. It looks good. It looks good. It's horrible. What, like my hair? <laughs> uh, this is what it is. Uh, funny, <laughs> funny, funny, funny. So we've gone for uh, an, aggr pink, an aggressive... <laughs> <laughs> Have you got any final messages to say because I've just signed off? This is a proper war now. <laughs> if you haven't gathered already, this does now mean war, however. Paul thinking he can do this to my Twizzy and not get away with it. I love a good prank, so please comment below any prank ideas you have that I could pull off on him and then we'll see if we can do it. But I need to get him back big time for this because this is just purely unacceptable, really. I'm gonna put the camera down somewhere and I'm just gonna rip everything off. I've literally balanced the camera on the roof of Paul's Lamborghini. Just because you wrapped my twizzy, mate, I'm not really gonna be that careful. So. Your dog is gonna have a puppy And we're running out of cold No enchiladas in the icebox And the television's broke Excuse my hair, I can't really do anything about it now, I've got all of this, but that is all of the wrapping paper that they put the effort into putting on my car, but it's back to normal, back to original black on black spec, solid spec. Thanks Paul very much for wrapping my Twizzy, you will be paying the price, um, but I do also just want to say it is quite a funny video that he's put up on his channel, um, so go check that out, it will be live now, the link will be in the description, and yeah, why don't we get on with the rest of our day, shall we? You join me in the Twizzy now, I'm just driving past a few nice cars here actually, um, yes, I'm in the Twizzy driving down to Monaco, heading to Starbucks, which seems to be a daily occurrence now, pretty much, seeing as uh, the internet at home is not holding up so well. So I'm heading to Starbucks to upload yesterday's video for you guys and today's, some of today's video. I'm going to see if I can edit it and then see what we can do. The Sam and Dimmy in the F-Type behind me. Well, I thought they were behind me. Oh, there they are. There they are. You can see them. I'm here with this man. Oh. Uh, my video is now uploaded, so I am ready to head back home and hopefully drive the RS. 
back in the gangster mobile then. And I want to show you this nice little DB9 just chilling. Um, I'm gonna drive back up. Sam's got the Jag and we're going to convoy back up. I think we just need to find Dimmy who's hiding somewhere in Monaco. Something very exciting is happening. First of all, all the cars are here. The McLaren's out again. Hasn't been out in a while. And Andrew, hello, and I there you go. are going to go out in the RS. This is so, so, so exciting. Okay, I am now driving the RS. This is an unbelievable feeling. I mean, even just knowing how rare these things are is insane. And having the, you know, good fortune to be able to drive one, thanks to you, Andrew, and thanks to the it white, it's white noise, is unbelievable. Obviously taking everything very, very slow now, sort of getting the feel for the car and the steering and the braking and the acceleration and everything. But the, the surprising thing is it's really not that hard. It doesn't feel all that old. Um, and also one thing which is amazing is that my vision out is just incredible. I can see everything around me. It's not like when you're in like a Countach or something and you basically just can't see anything around. So this is a very, very pleasant place to be. And I am just buzzing right now. Accelerate. Feel the car settles down when you accelerate. Yeah. Yeah, you really feel it sort of hung down, don't you? Brakes really aren't that bad as well. You know, you hear all these horror stories about different uh, sport, old sports cars and their brakes being sort of completely outdated. These feel completely fine. The car is very light. It's also probably a thousand plus pounds lighter than a Coronado 11. Oh wow. Even an RS or a, a GT3, so. It does feel light. Steering, you can wobble it around a bit. Yeah. <laughs> it does, that happens. Yeah, it's yeah. A little, little play in the wheel. Exactly. It's also a car that when you get it really going, you need to just slightly anticipate a turn with the steering. Okay, yeah, Because yeah. it's not lightning quick like the new cars, but it's very sure and you know where it is. I, I don't really know what to say. This is an amazing feeling. Um, you know, I've driven a bunch of modern supercars I had an experience with an Aston Martin DVR1, but this this is something else. And especially being a Porsche lover, this is kind of like the holy grail. Like, where do I go from here now? I feel like a very, very lucky guy. Okay. It's the beautiful sound of an older car. Right? Squeaky brakes. Clutch. It's quite predictable. It's very direct. I'm driving back up the hill now, and, and I mean, I've been speaking to Andrew a bit, but to be honest, I'm feeling pretty speechless. This is just, I know I keep saying it, but it is an amazing experience. And we're talking about it with Andrew about once you figure out, you know, that you need to sort of control the car and not let it control you, if you're too intimidated by these cars, that's when you'll start making mistakes or be too intimidated by it and sort of not use the car it's meant to be in the way it's meant to be used. So if you sort of get the grips of the car and you're able to control it, then it becomes really fun. And this thing, it's like completely different to driving a modern 911. I mean, obviously I had the 991 for a while, as you guys know. But this is, you just feel every single bump, you feel what the engine's doing, you feel what the brakes are doing. You just feel so connected and it's a, it's a whole other level. I get this now. I really get this. And I want one. I just need to save up. <laughs> when was the first time you drove one of these? About 15 years ago. Okay. And like you, you know, that even though that was a while ago, it felt just like putting an old pair of shoes on. Yeah. A Porsche. A new yeah. one, an old one, one from the 50s, one from the 60s, 70s, 80s. It's the same recipe. It is. That's what, that's what makes it so familiar. The steering position or the your hands, your butt. Yeah, it is very comfortable as well. 
That's one thing, but I mean, it's like that with all 911s. You know, it's, a, it's an incredible machine, but you can also use it every day. I mean, you've been using this the, the way it was meant to be used this trip, haven't you? <laughs> we try, we're very lucky to be able to do this. Yeah, you are very lucky. And the thing is, it, it, it comports itself pretty well with the other cars. You don't yeah. have the brutal acceleration or the all-out acceleration, but from a handling point of view on the roads that you were driving, you can take the corners. Yeah. So, gas, 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 gas. You sound like an instructor. Yeah. You break a little bit, and then on the gas, you have more. say that was my first time driving one of these bad boys and uh, hopefully not my last this has been the most incredible experience and just thank you so much Andrew <laughs> thank you it's white noise please everyone go see them on Instagram snapchat everywhere it's white noise it's an amazing project and everything is it's I'm just so happy <laughs> I forgot to end yesterday's video and actually I just want to put the camera down <sighs> There we go. And yes, I forgot to end the video, so I'm ending it now. I'm actually editing the video you're watching right now. But I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching. As per usual, please remember to subscribe, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye! <laughs>